Bonjour les gars et aujourd'hui, we're going to be looking at different ways to download, import your music to your native music player and well everything else. Firstly, there's the App Store method. Search the App Store and download any free music downloader of your choice. I'll be using the free music download app. There are many alternatives out there so it doesn't really matter what app you pick. However, they do have some disadvantages. Well, they only supply you with a means of downloading the songs, but not the actual files themselves. If that's troublesome for you, for an even simpler app, you can install Music Box. It's, it has a wide library of songs that can be downloaded at the push of a button. If you're okay with just using that app as your go-to music player, and you don't mind not being able to quickly launch the app by scrolling on your multitasking bar and hitting the play button, then this video is pretty much over for you. If you want to be a bit more flexible with your device, then let's introduce a little music important app called Bridge. Bridge is a very functional app that imports your music and video files into your iDevices default media app. Find the files from the directory, hit the import button, et voila, you're done. Or are you? You now have your songs and you're able to play it on any music player that uses the default media folder within the phone. What now? Hmm, what now? Well, this video is really here to show you the possibilities if you know how to make use of a few applications. So now, you want to use those files not only on your device but on your computer too, or any other device. To transfer the songs from your iDevice to your computer, open iTunes and visit the File Sharing tab. From here, you can add even more songs or send songs to the computer. There are other ways to transfer these songs to your computer though. You could do it wirelessly via SSHNI file. You could send it using Celeste Bluetooth file sharing. You could upload it to the online syncing service of your choice. Or if you just hate iTunes that much, you could just transfer the song over USB using iPhone box. There are literally hundreds of ways to make this work, so just go nuts. Phew, that was a mouthful. So choose whichever method that's the most seamless for you. So all in all, I've shown you how to get the songs, listen to them on whichever pl music player you choose, and how to transfer those songs to and from other devices. If you've learned anything at all from this video, please leave a like. As always, if you like watching my videos, why not subscribe? That's a smartphone. You launch the app and pick a game that you're watching. You are given an interactive style question. 